What's up, guys? We just got to win the first minute at only called 16. There's a New Orleans car behind us. Here comes Bruce from PTM. There's a bunch of us kind of floating around right now. And we are about to go out for a little ride. I'm doing this off inside today because I don't feel like getting all bundled up to go walk up there to the car barns. This is uh, Illinois Terminal 451. It's a double-ended PCC, interurban, and it's the first PCC car that I ever ran. I was up here in 1987 with Ernie Moser, who had been a Philadelphia motorman for 42 years, and Ernie was a PCC fan, and we took it out, and uh, he taught me to run a PCC car. It's an all-electric. And it's really easy to run, but this was my first PCC, so it's kind of special to me. You know what I've been getting into a lot lately? Interurbans. Oh, I love it. I have been getting fascinated. This, this, this fascination. I can't wait to 415. Uh,
So as you guys can see, I am wandering around and looking for all the old shops they have hidden out of sight. Now, it's freezing, so a lot of the stuff is going to be quick, but I'm going to try to find as much as I can. So as you guys can see, they have a New Jersey car sitting outside. It looks like they have painted it and they have tried to keep top of it. But it's still mostly outside over that little back part. And exposed to the elements of trains, it's going to be more so now car when they go to restore it. The New Orleans car is going for us. Oh, well, I guess that's going too. Which one has better heat? <laughs> this looks like it's going to be crowded. Should okay. we go on this? Yeah, but. So, as you can see, we are getting into some night operations. Oh, We're coming. So we are now on the way back to the hotel. We left the museum, got some gas, and Kyle tried to fill up his tile, and that didn't work very well. <laughs> well we just checked into the hotel, and look at this place. Look at that little fireplace. Wow. Got a little kitchen. What's in here? It's like a little mini house. Like usually hotels are like very basic. This one's like really cool. There's a bathroom. Oh. Light.
So the old bus and the old fire truck just pulled up and we were just sitting here waiting for them to start operating again. I was going to pull up on that side too. But like we had to throw our building us parked earlier today. Hey Bill, we're doing good today. done taking pictures and now we are on I don't know what number this is because it doesn't say but we're on a street car and I'm about to get some line footage and I got tons and tons and tons of like passing footage and stuff from here and this is a preview of how long the line is Apparently from seashore in 2023. Yeah. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> We're moving to it. 2023, right? No, no, no. I saw it written in that stone over there somewhere. Oh, oh stone here. Right. Yeah. 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 Just remember where farther north is cold. And snowier. So I am back at the hotel, about to lay down after a drink of booze, and they are all ready to sleep, which is why I'm being quiet. So I will see you guys in the morning. So we just woke up and we're downstairs getting breakfast, and this is probably all I'm having because 
I don't like food. <laughs> so we are in a street called Convoy. We have Ed and them up there and the guys walk to Joel are back there. You know Ed just moved the convoy over a lane. As you can see the Baltimore Walker guys and a couple of the guys from the New York Museum we're all at Brain for now and we're going to go try to catch up with some of the guys here. Just kind of wandering through the barns and stuff. We can just kind of showed up and started wandering. And this one actually went to, uh, it was at the New York Transit Museum for about five years on loan. Okay. Oh, that's so right. I did see Amber. pictures of that. Yeah. yeah. They actually, they wanted to figure out. That, it is supposed and, to have, uh, instead they, of that little dinky cool. controller that's it's sitting in there, but this is what I was it's supposed to have one of those night. ones that are, said, like, all the wires are exposed. Visitors, like they do oh, the okay. Ramp, but they, that was way here. too dangerous. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, We got yeah, that when we wow. went down, we got a bunch of other stuff when uh -huh. we were down there. Yeah. Uh, Conrad redid, he cosmetically yeah, did this awesome. car. Oh, good for and him. And he put the low okay. voltage lighting in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So and we actually put air to this car. Uh -huh. We had to because it derailed at the top uh -huh. of the loop. Yeah. And the problem was, it, it wouldn't swivel enough. So wall derailed it. Well, okay. So we, I pulled the path shop up, yeah. and they said you can fool the airbags. You know, they told us how to, you know, mess around with that so we can get it to go higher. Oh. But okay. so we put air to this thing. I'm sitting in the cab and it's charging up. Uh huh. This thing has not had air since 9/11. Yeah. yeah. Since the building came down, mm -hmm. this has not had any air on it, and it charged up. Jeez. I put my <laughs> handle it just to see. And yeah, it, yeah. You know, uh huh charged up wow so i have a wow. funny feeling a lot of stuff in here actually works uh the guys at kingston they ran they they put a lot of juice stuff to there the low voltage mm -hmm. yeah i don't know what this what happened here to me it looks like raccoons, the raccoons. Yeah, I was gonna say, oh they love to get in actually yeah, this seat them. came from translate uh it was a sample oh, yeah. seat for that they would show uh potential customers oh okay yeah so yeah. there's another one also Ow. So we are now going to go for a ride and I have a GoPro on the outside of a car. Um, I was going to put it down here but I don't feel like getting out all the other pieces so we'll see how it turns out and uh, make sure you guys go and watch it. Oh, my God. 